Okay. My dad died a long, long time ago. 10 years, maybe? When he died, I just felt a lot of rage. Anger about the way that he treated me and about the way that I was raised and about a whole myriad of things. I just became a really cynical and angry person. It took me a long time to deal with that, at least two years, three years. When my mom died, about nine months ago, my mom has been battling with Huntington's disease for at least a decade, probably more. So when she died, I was hit harder, but something shifted in me, my mindset shifted. I am, I'm a different person, I've changed, and I processed her death differently. I realized when she died the kind of person she was, and it helped me realize the kind of person my dad was. Instead of looking back in anger, I looked back in awe, and it helped me realize that, yeah, okay, maybe my parents were not the greatest parents. Yeah, although, who is? Maybe they could have done things differently, they could have treated me better, they could have been nicer people. But they all, they had their goals in their life ahead of them as well. And I never really thought what they sacrificed to give me a home, what they did before they had me or before they had kids at all the people that they were before they had each other even. I should probably point out that there was another significant change that happened about eight months ago. Shortly after my mother died, my second child was born. And that shifted my mind as well. See, for a long time in my life, I've been focused on me. I've never fancied myself a selfish person, but guess what? That's who I was, I guess. I'm, I, I'm still that person. But my hope is that I will move past that. Because my mom dying, and then my dad dying 10 years ago, and my second kid being born, made me realize that I was not put on this earth to become the best version of me. The reason that I exist is not something that I can ever know, actually. So I can only really look at the effect that my life has on other people. I, I've, I've spent a good portion of my life embracing change and at least appreciating change, maybe not always embrace it, embracing it. There is the change that happens to you, things that you don't have any control over. My mom dying. And then there's change that you can enact as a person to hopefully make your life better. Uh, and I'm doing that too. Both of those things are very scary propositions. I think the fear of change is something that I always want to embrace and I never want to stand still and I never want to be someone who is stagnant and who can't cope with change. Not because it'll make a better me, but because it will make this world a better place. Good lord, that sounds hokey. I always want to be somebody who embraces change because everything is already changing anyway. So why resist it? Just understand that Sometimes you have control over that change and you should follow through with it. And sometimes you don't. And you should follow through with that too. Change your mindset maybe and appreciate the ones you love. Because that always makes it easier to embrace any kind of change.